What's up, YouTube? Furion29 here, doing an uh, unboxing of the MSI FM2 A55M E33 micro ATX board. Uh, just wanted to go ahead and do a quick unboxing of it for you, you know, before we start getting it installed and put in, uh, uh, in the desktop that we got sitting over there. And this is for the budget build. This is uh, the uh, motherboard I chose to go with for the $250 build. And uh, it is a micro ATX board, as I said. It's MSI. It's got the UEFI. It's got the One Touch Overclock Genie 2. Uh, it's got. It's recommended for the A4 or the A6, which is where, what we're going to use. You can also use the A8 or the A10. It's got the AMD memory profile. It's got recommended uh, compatible for Windows 7 and Windows 8 ready. So. Uh, according to this, this is a military class motherboard, but we'll be the judge of that, won't we guys? And without further ado, let's go over the back plating here. There's no cushioning, no writing, just, I don't even know if you can see that. There's some stamping on it to show where to go. Not very impressed with that MSI. Got two SATA cables come with it. Yay! Love SATA cables. Let's see here. Driver and utilities disc. Awesome. And the quick installation guide, which is a book. And without further ado, let's pop this bad boy open and kind of go through a quick review. Well, first glance, you know, I've already pulled it out, showed it to you. We'll go ahead and roll this over here so you can take a look. Uh, it's got the single audio, USB. It's got the uh, one gigabyte ethernet. Uh, it's got HDMI, DVI, and uh, the old school plugins for the mouse and everything. So, you know, for a micro ATX, it's got a few little options on it. Not as many as I'd like, but like I said, we're on a budget. We want to build a good computer. This is what I went with. Keep that in mind when you're building. Things can start to look really good when you're building a computer and then you gotta you gotta keep yourself grounded you gotta stay within that budget uh... this board will work just as good as any of the other ones it just may not have all the fancy options so just to let you know uh... one pci express slot which is great if you're gonna add a uh... graphics card which we may do don't know yet may not be in the budget um, then we got another pci slot we got four uh, 6 gigabyte SATAs at least I think that's 6 gig I have to double check that go down here and you can see the plugins for everything all the USB USB JCOM GPM audio for the front which I never understood why they put it so far back there that drives me nuts they should always put it up here uh, I don't know uh, you got one fan connector here got one fan connector right here and one CPU fan connector there so not a lot of options as far as fan running but we do have Molex so we're good because we're probably gonna add another fan onto this thing because it is a uh, cheaper case and it's you know kind of confined we want to make sure it's breeze good alright uh, back to the uh, board here we've got two DDR3 memory slots which it, it will hold up to 32 gigs which is awesome and I think it's 2133 is the max uh, the capping on it isn't bad you know a lot of the higher end boards have the gold so you know like I said cheap uh, 4 pin power connector and we've got a 24 pin one here now this board is actually set up really good for the price it's forty four dollars on new egg you can't beat it for the price okay micro ATX board here I'm just gonna pull it up and see how small this thing is I mean it's it's almost the size of my hand it's so small I love it uh, it's gonna make for a lot of room putting other stuff in there and wiring wise and everything I love that it gives me my space I need and we all know that uh, you know power supply cable management can be a little bit of a pain so 
Uh, let's go over here to the optical drive. I thought I was getting a new one. I guess I thought wrong. Maybe I didn't read it correctly or something. But let's get this up here. We have the LG Super Multi MO Disc, which this is a 24 times drive. It's a very good drive from what I hear, so we'll slap that bad boy in and I'll be very happy to have that. Um, and that's it for right now, YouTube. That's the unboxing, like I said, of the uh, MSI FM2 A55ME33. So, without further ado, we'll post a new video of us installing this motherboard and this optical drive, and we'll kind of go through the case. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do the pre standoffs, put them in there, get that ready to go. That way, we ain't wasting a bunch of time. So, Without further ado, guys, I'll see you on the next video, YouTube. Thanks.